Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to call sign up user API from Node.js in React. So let's get started. I'm going to add here the HTML code of the sign up form. So on the top, I'm going to add here the object that is the default theme. And it will be a from create theme. After this, let me add here the imports of the material UI components that we are using in the sign up form. You can see the imports of the different components that we are using in the sign up form. Okay, so you can see here the HTML code where we have a default theme from the create theme. We have a first text field that is the first name, second input for the last name, third input for the email and the last input for the password and you can see here the button for the sign up and the link you can see here for the sign in let me open it the terminal and here i'm going to write the command to install the material ui icons that we are using in the form so let's go to the browser and here i'm going to search material ui icons let me click on this get started button let's go to installation page scroll down and you can see here the command to install the material ui icons let me copy this let's go to the react application let me paste in the command let's hit enter and you can see here material ui icons installed successfully let me close the terminal you can see here the error that we are getting let's go to the browser you can see here the sign up form with the different inputs that is the first name last name email address and the password you can see here the button for the sign up to submit the form at the end you can see here the link to navigate the user to the login page let's go to the react application and here i'm going to declare the use state with the inputs that we need to get from the sign up form it will be a from use state and here i'm going to declare the inputs that we need to get from the sign up form so the first one we have first name that is by default empty second we have last name that is by default empty third we have email that is by default empty and the last we have password that is also by default empty after that, I'm going to bind the use state with the inputs. So let's go to our HTML code and you can see here the input for the first name. So let me add here the property that is a value. Let me call here the use state that is a form data and this is the input for the first name. Let me copy this. Let's go to the input for the last name. And here we need to give the property that is a last name. You can see here the input for the email. Let me add here form data dot email. And the last you can see here that is a password so let me add here password after this i'm going to create here the handle input change method this method will clone the input value on the every click of the button in the argument i'm going to add here the event and it will be a arrow function so here i'm going to get the key and the value of the input so the first one we have key that is a name and here we need to get the value and this will get from event.target. After this, we need to call here the use state that is a set form data. And here we need to clone the input. So let me call here form data. So first we need to pass here the input name. And second, we need to pass here the input value. We need to call this method when the input have any change. Let's go to HTML code. And here I'm going to add the event that is a on change. On this event, we need to call the method that is a handle input change. So let me copy this and we need to add all of these inputs. After this, I'm going to create another method that is a handle submit. I'm going to add here the try and the catch block. Catch block for catch an exception in case of API failing. So let me add here the error in the argument. And here I'm going to add console.error to print the error message in the console. Before the try block, we need to add here event.prevent default. Inside the try block, I'm going to call an API from the Node.js application. So the method we need to use here, that is a fetch. Inside this, we need to add here the URL of our Node.js application. After the slash, I'm going to add here the URL of our endpoint that is a slash user slash register after the url i'm going to define here the method of the endpoint that is a post 
and here I'm going to define the headers. Let me define here the content type. That is the application slash JSON. After the headers, we need to pass the request payload that we will get from the sign up form. We need to pass the input values of the form in the type of a JSON. So it will be a JSON dot stringify. And here in the argument, we need to pass the use state that is a form data. So it will be a wait. And here I'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of the API. After getting the response, I'm going to transform the response in the type of a JSON. It will be a wait. And here I'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of this method. Here I'm going to add the if condition where we need to check if the response is okay, then we need to navigate the user to the login page. Otherwise, we will print the error message in the console. If we are getting the user ID in the response, then we need to navigate the user to the login page. Otherwise, we will print the error message in the console. So let me add here the else condition where we need to print the error message. That is a sign up field. Let me remove this. On the top, I'm going to define here the use navigate hook. It will be a form use navigate. You can see here the import of the use navigate from the React Router DOM. And here we need to use the navigate inside the course. I'm going to add here the path for the login component. We need to call this method on the click of sign up button. You can see here the button for the sign up. So let me add here the click event. And here we need to call this method that is a handle submit. You can see here the link that is a already have an account sign in. When the user click on this link, then we need to navigate the user to the login page. After the handle submit method, I'm going to create another method that is a handle sign in click. Here I'm going to use navigate inside the course. I'm going to add here the path for the login component that is a slash login. Let me copy the method name and we need to call this method on the click of the link. So let me add here the on click event. And here I'm going to paste the method name that is a handle sign in click. So this is the functionality of the sign up API. Let's go to the Node.js application. Let me open here the terminal and here I'm going to install the course. You can see course installed successfully. Let me close the terminal. Let's go to app.js and here I'm going to import the course. Let me create here the instance of the course. So it will be app.use. Inside this, we need to call the import that is a course. Let's run the Node.js application. So let me stop this. You can see here the status of the Node.js application that is connected to MongoDB. Let's go to the browser. Let me open here the inspect. Let's enter here the details. Let's click on this sign up button. You can see here the status of the API that is a 201 created. Let's go to the response and you can see here the response of the API that is a user created successfully. And you can see here the details of the created customer, but the React.js application not navigating us to the login page. So let me check what is the issue. Okay, so I forgot to add here the dot after the user. Let's save this, let's go to UI. Let me refresh the component. Let's add the details of the another customer. Let's click on this sign up button. And you can see it's navigating us to the login page. And you can see here the response of the API with the message user created successfully. And you can see here the details of the created customer. So that's all for now from my side. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.